Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than anything I've done. Um, I actually had a company called Uniwigs. They're a wig company. They reached out to me asking me if I would be interested in them sending me a wig to try out for free and if I would make a video on it and just kind of let you guys know what I thought, kind of like a review. Um, and that, you know, it came with a mixture of emotions. One, I was so stoked to have a company think of me and want to send me something for free um, and, you know, want my opinion on it and give me the opportunity to share it with people, um, my friends, my followers, and just kind of let y'all know honestly what I think of the product. And then I realized like, shit, it, you know, it's a wig company. They can tell that you're balding, Caitlin. So, you know, there's that, the good with the bad, I guess it is what it is. Um, but for those of you who don't actually know a little bit of my story, I had weight loss surgery back in 2015 and as it you know comes along with many surgeries because of anesthesia um, a lot of time a lot of people who have weight loss surgery actually suffer from a good deal of hair loss now my th my hair was really really thin all my life so I was terrified when it came time um, I'm I've also had three kids so two prior to having surgery and my hair thinned even more every single time I gave birth because of the epidural um, so it's something that a lot of people who've had weight loss surgery do suffer with um, and so I was really excited like I said when they reached out because at that point I had just gotten pregnant and given birth and so again after having two kids and then weight loss surgery that you know was a shit show in itself and then all of a sudden I'm losing like literally clumps of hair again when I after I gave birth to my um, youngest he's now six and a half months old so my hair loss has kind of slowed down a bit now I'm not like literally in the shower it was so bad in the shower I could just like pull out hair and have like a fistful of hair and y'all like I'm probably not wearing the best top for this but my hair is not um, thick and I'm sure y'all have seen it in the past um, but like if you look at like my hairline and I do have thinner uh, not thinner but lighter roots because my hair is a bit lighter naturally but like it's crazy I put my hair I don't want well I put my hair up and like you can see all like the thin spots so it's something that I've always really been self-conscious about I wish I could get hair extensions but I just don't think that you know again my hair is not thick enough to be able to hide the tracks and I just don't really want to be like that girl with my track showing like 24 7 so so like I said I was so Sorry about that. Like I said, I was so excited when Uniwigs reached out to me and asked me again if they could send the product. They did send it for free. I'm not being paid to say what I'm going to say. She didn't ask me, you know, the rep from the company didn't say this is what you need to say. She asked me to go ahead, review it, give them my feedback, give you guys my honest thoughts, and hopefully it's something that because my my channel has a lot to do with my weight loss surgery hopefully it's something that people going through a similar situation can really benefit from even if it's you know temporarily it would be really neat to have some kind of um relief from that um i had a lot of anxiety in regards to my hair um coming out and being really really thin and i still do i mean i put my hair up like i said all the time and right now what i'm doing is i'm just filling in like the bald spots like even right here you can see um i'll oftentimes just fill that in with some uh, eyeshadow when I'm getting ready in the morning. So um, having kind of another alternative would be really neat. So I haven't even opened this up. Um, so let's go ahead and do that and then we will see what we think. Okay, so. Um, so this is the box that it comes in. Uh, it says La Vivid, I think. Oh, sorry if y'all can see the reflection. La Vivid, a designer collection from Uniwigs. So it's in like this shoebox kind of thing. Oh, this is like kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy, guys. It's like just a, th a hairy thing in a box. Like, I bet if I left this out, the colors are so pretty in this. Like the highlighting you can see, or can you see? Uh, but I bet if I left this like on the floor or something, the kids and, the, and my boyfriend when they got home would be really freaked out. So... Oh, it's like tacked in. So I've honestly, I've never, like I said before, I've never worn a wig. I don't know how to put it on, so we're gonna try and do this together. So I just yoinked it out. Um, here is the wig. It's actually, it's called the Carrie wig. Um, they have so many different options on their site. There was a ton. They have full wigs, which is what this is. They have like toppers, which I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, she did send me a um, full wig. This is the Carrie 03 style, and the color is an almond frost. It says AL1R. So it still has like the little hairnet on it, but it I it's a really beautiful color, guys. Okay. So it came with the wig. Set you down. <laughs> um, and then it comes with 
shit I'm gonna move this camera like left and right oh cute it comes with two hair hair caps wig caps they're two mesh weaving caps it says I'm guessing for um, depending on the coloring of your hair it has instructions on the back thank the Lord because they don't know what I'm doing and then it also comes with these I don't freaking know what those are for I don't think there are any instructions. What are those for? Do I put those in with this? Wait, let's read these. No idea. No freaking clue. I don't know what these are for, so we're going to just kind of let it be. So let's just take this bad Larry out. She's pretty long, too. Look at the wave. Okay, girl. I see you. It has some hair to keep it shaped. Well, maybe not super long. Wow, let's look at how blonde. Okay, let's live out a fantasy right about now. I think it's really, really pretty from what I can see here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's try to do this together. Uh, I don't want to like kill her. That's, I think I'm going to need to get like a styrofoam head or something to like store her. I think she's pretty. She's like really pretty. I was not ex expecting it to be that beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to use this mesh coloring because... I don't know. There's no instructions, so I'm going to make my own instructions up. Okay, so the little um, head on the picture. <sighs> I'm nervous, you guys. I'm nervous. All right, so it's like just like that. It's open through and through. I'm going to take my rings off because this is about to get real. Shit's getting real, guys. So I'm going to go like this. Oh, man, I have a big head. I don't even know if this is going to be a thing. Okay. <sighs> it's a choker. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be a choker on the illustrations, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. This is actually going to cut off my circulation if I'm not careful. So there's that. And then, does it matter which side? Okay. So I'm guessing the side with the thicker end needs to go towards the back because this is, like, protecting your hair. So I'm going to kind of just... The girl in the picture does not have her hair up when she's doing this. I honestly haven't even, like, really watched... Oh, shit. Like, YouTube tutorials on how to put a wig on. Oh, okay, so you just like, oh man, this is, see, there you go, there's my bald spots. Oh, that's a look, I look like an onion. She does not have hair sticking out. Okay, so I think then you just like pull it to the back. Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see? Do you see it? I'm not supposed to have my ears under there, because that could be weird. Oh, I feel like I have a, a big head, like this is going to roll up or something. Wow, if I were bald, girl, I think I could do it. Um, okay, so... Do I like tuck this in? You know? Maybe I tuck that under here. I don't really know. Oh, see, I feel like it's gonna slide off my head. Maybe that's what the clips are for, but what are they for? I feel like, oh, okay, we're losing it, you guys. We're losing it. And I feel like that's what the clips are for, but I don't really know. Maybe I just stick, we're gonna MacGyver this, okay? I'm not really sure, so we're just gonna like this. Stay. Or maybe we should do it the other way. Stay. Stay, wig cap. Stay. You know, like, I don't know. I don't really know. But that's what it's gonna, gonna look like for now. And then, I think we just go like this. Oh, again, I have a really big head. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The wig is out. Now, inside... This is like the cap itself inside. And then it does have like a bit of stretch, a band here at the back. So maybe that will help me. I'm just I'm a little, I got a big head guys. I don't know about this. I got a really big head. I don't think Uniwigs knew what they were doing when they tried to. Oh, that's a cone head. Okay, that's not gonna work for me. Okay. How, how women who wear oh and I have a clip coming out in the back y'all who wear wigs on the regular can you like give me some advice because I would really I think the cone head is just part of the wig I don't think it's supposed to be Caitlin I don't think it's supposed to be coney but I'm like really trying I think it's just because I have a really big head you guys oh but, like, if this hairstyle could just, like, actually work on me. So, okay. It's a little coney, but it's, like, really cushiony up there. So I don't know if it's 
I can't like pull it down anymore, I don't think. Guys, if you wear wigs, please help your sister out over here. Yeah, like I'm pulling down as much as I can. It's pretty tight, which I feel like is pretty... <laughs> I feel like that... <laughs> It's in my, it's in my lip gloss. Um, it's pretty tight, which I feel like is pretty good. Yo, how y'all doing? So, okay, one thing that I did, like, I gotta try and make this look, like, natural, right? So, Lord have mercy, help me. So, see how the part is, like, dark? Your scalp does not normally do that. down oh no see that's what's gonna happen somebody's gonna try and snatch my weave i don't know who would do that to me and my boyfriend would probably do that to me so i <laughs> this is like this is kind of everything right now so what i'm gonna do i kind of moved everything around on my vanity to try and get this done but what i'm actually gonna do right now see how the part is dark like I said before your part is not dark obviously you can see your scalp so I'm gonna take a little bit of my um, concealer here put a smidge on the back of my hand I think this is what people do oh I mean this could actually just be a look you guys y'all could just this might actually be a thing you guys are gonna it's like so much hair I've never had this much hair in my entire life so it's like I kind of can't see, like, I have no peripheral vision at this point because of my fair fa faucetness, right? Wow, girl. So, um, you guys are going to have to let me know what you think of this, too. So, I'm just going to take one of my makeup brushes. This is just, a, like, a flat top um, brush here. And kind of put it a little bit in the concealer. I have a mirror behind me. How do you do this? Okay, we're just going to kind of paint it in. In the mirror, I definitely look like I have a bit of a cone head. In the camera, not so much, in my humble opinion. Oh, my head's already getting itchy, though. That's interesting. Oh, that's a lot of concealer, girl. Carrie, can you work with me, baby girl? I need some assistance here. So you can see that it's, like, giving it a little bit more... Um, like a realism effect, like a realistic effect, because it looks like you can see my scalp. In the camera, though, you guys, no. Oh, I think I just got concealer in her. I'm sorry, Carrie. Um, this could be a thing. So this, I, it's really beautiful. I really, this is, like I said, almond frost, I think. I When I heard frost, I was a little bit nervous, like I said, um, because I just didn't, what do I do with this concealer? Um, I didn't really know what to expect, but I really think it's beautiful. It has some, like, really pretty dimension to it. And, um, she's a look, okay? We are, ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Could I get away with wearing wigs, you guys? See, my fear is, here we go, let's be, oh, I'm sitting on my foot. Oh, so here's the deal. I'm afraid that, I've always had, like, crazy fears do i look like i have a giant forehead because i feel like i do um like before i started wearing eyelashes every day right i was like how do people wear eyelashes every day because i feel like what happens if i'm talking to someone and my eyelash just like falls off in their lap like that's uncomfortable that's unfortunate what would i do right and you know now i wear eyelashes every single day not once have, has my lash fallen off mid conversation it's been a little touch and go during like a nasty windstorm, but not once has a lash just flown off and I'm like stuck looking like, you know, hot mess express. So my fear with this is that I'm either going to be like in a windstorm and it's going to blow away. Somebody, you know, I have a son now, so I feel like he's going to snatch it off. Well, I have three sons, but only one of them would dare put their hands like and rip my hair out because he's not smart enough to know the wrath of his mother yet. Um, but, uh, or like my boyfriend, I feel like he would just to, like totally mess with me in public. Like, I feel like he would just like yank it a little bit to, so I felt like I had a receding hairline. So, um, it's gorgeous. I'm sorry. I was not can you guys tell me if you think it's as gorgeous as I think it is? Because I really think it's beautiful. Um, 
so I think it's just a matter of getting used to it trying it out oh, there's a hair somewhere trying it out like venturing out into the world being brave right like I just got to get over it I mean if I could wear wigs every day like some of y'all do like please I would die so if you do have any tips or tricks for me down below or can you please leave them down below because I would actually really like to wear this I'm feeling a little like Kim Kardashian when she like lightened her hair that's totally just in my mind but that's what I feel like the vibe that I'm giving right now is Kimmy K um so you guys look at how beautiful and like the floors in my house are so slanted um so this is it look it's like a really beautiful length on me i love like the natural wave it has like do you see just even the dimension it has some lighter colors in there it's darker at the roots which really works for me because um like i'm that's my natural hair right here is that supposed to be right there should it be i just got a big old head i they, like don't have measurements for head sizes but i feel like my head's pretty large and it's a little oof it's a little touch and go um so yeah let me know what you guys think down below i'm gonna go ahead like i said try and like live my life in a wig for a little bit not i don't think i'll wear it to work because um i don't know i don't know if i can get away with i would just be sitting there all day and not being productive and i would just be like either taking a whole shit ton of selfies or i'd just be messing with my hair so um but i'm gonna try and like wear it out a few times see how it goes see what the result is see if my wig goes flying off and i'm just left like i would be that person i would just be like oh god my wig and i'm in like a wig gap and i just stand there i would be frozen with embarrassment i really would um but let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks. Let me see if I cannot move you. Um, let me know if you have any tips or tricks down below. They were so sweet. Uh, you knew it was so sweet to give me a coupon code. I'm going to list it down below. I think it's for 10% off, but I think it's just Caitlin 10. I'll double check and list it down below. Like I said, I'm not being paid for this. They didn't tell me what to say. She was super helpful when I was speaking with her um, in trying to figure out, like, like I said, they have toppers but i don't really know what that is um she was helping me pick out the best item for me and then um you know a color and things like that so she was super helpful um the rep that i spoke with hi tanya thank you so much for being so patient with me and helping me out i appreciate it i really am truly happy with this i'm gonna like keep it on and see what my kids and my hu uh, my husband i ain't got no damn husband see what my kids and my boyfriend say I think I'd love it okay I'm gonna take some selfies here but like I said I think I'm gonna wear it out like out in public a few times and then I'll do a follow-up video for you guys and let you know what I think if you guys have tips hopefully you can listen down below and I'll try and implement that so I feel more secure in my um, my ability to successfully wear a wig um, but I'm really I'm, I'm into it I'm feeling her just so you can see like up close so that's the see that's not a cute thing so the concealer you can see I put there there's my natural part. I, where did I put that brush? Right here. Maybe I should do a little bit into my, you know, my natural bald spots fitting in just dandy. It just makes it look like a big old part. So that is the video here on the Uniwigs Carry Synthetic Wig. Thanks for being like supportive. I could feel your like positive energy watching me try to get this dang thing on my big old head. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know any tips or tricks. Let me know if you think I should actually wear this in public. I think it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. No, I always, I don't know. It's not like too blonde. Can you see from the profile? Do you see? So my hair is like mainly down here, my real hair. But do you see this is like the cone head piece that I'm talking about? And it just feels very like poofy. Let me know. I have to look, watch it back, but... Let me know if that looks super unnatural. But when I'm looking at myself here now, it doesn't look too crazy in the viewfinder. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fabulous day, y'all. I'm on vacation next week and I cannot wait. I'm not doing anything. It's just me and the kids because it's April vacation here. But I'm super excited. So I hope you guys are doing well. It's three in the after four in the afternoon. Let's have some more coffee, shall we? Thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you later. Bye.